All right, so welcome back. Um, right now, my computer is still playing the fool. Um, so realistically, when you all probably see this video, it probably doesn't happen a long time, a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so prior. Um, hopefully, I get the computer back up. So obviously, if it is you see this, then you know the computer working. But dealing with the car here now, the cold, um, they're going to pull it down. They had it more or less in this state now for the past two to three weeks um but dealing with work and that kind of stuff i realistically i had the time for it I, every now and then i would just come and uh, do something else and uh, do a boat here until uh, at this point right now today we got some free time so we look to actually pull it down and put down the engine and get something going um uh, my original plan was to get some cams uh, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen anymore. We will see. But for sure, I could still get it poured on polish. I could get set up my deal with that part for me. Get some springs and adjustable cam gears and go from there and put back up and see what happens. So hopefully, it gets a little faster. I hope. Maybe. I don't know. Only one way to find out. But yeah, um, as I said, the engine more or less out. Just go on do a couple more bolts in it on the ground. Yeah, stay tuned. So some people might see my method of taking out this engine a little wild, but even though it might be wild, like, I, I can't I can't deny the fact that it is wild. It works. And I never had an issue taking out the engine like this before. So you know, get where it came from. So at this point, everything on do. All the Fuel lines, oil lines, connectors, linkages, everything on do. So it's literally just to undo the two bolts. Well, three bolts from the time side. And he wants for the gearbox and just let the engine drop on the ground. Um, usually it's be a little more wild than this, but I'll put something under the engine this time. It's normally just like drop on the ground, but. All that matters if it works. I just gotta jack this back up now and this engine oh Any way that ever work on a movet or has a movet knows the reason why this tool looks this way. But locking out all these spark plugs so that turning the engine is going to be 10 times easier. Frightened for okay. I feel like see where the oil leak coming from. That's very gobby for real. I am convinced. Crap. This bolt here. 
Right, that boat there. I feel it might be damaging the valve cover gasket up in that, this area. And then oil then would be leaking from the valve cover and running and coming down. And then down at the front of the engine. I am assuming that is my issue and that has been my issue from all this time and causing all this oil leak at the front of the engine but i'm going back up we could get a new one so that'll be a very small issue where the hell the marks is oh i know see that that's the bad boy there so as you can see a little notch there I'm gonna line up with this and this little notch here gonna line up with this little notch on the valve cover and then down here it's very circulating is this bad at this point but that notch is going to line up with a notch, uh, some markings here on the valve the timing gear See if you can see it from here. This is what was calling all of causing all of my odd problems. You see the pinch? Not all the oil leaking out through there. I'll cover off now. See the cams. And everything down here still look pretty good. And at one point I was going to back up and I obviously put the silicone in the wrong place but don't worry about that so uh, let's take off the cams now and take off the head Forget the they, they got some oh let's set it here we're twelves one side and then times another side bear all of these by hand first and then you could clock the gun in all of them time for the gun oops oops now that all of them off, I gotta get a bit, a bit. Silicone got you holding. <laughs> Foolishness, I do. Honestly, right? I convinced that these journals might be a little hurt, you know, from any engine or not. Started working all this time. You see, this is gonna be easy as well. My vet solenoid and yeah, I'm capping everything in one. Yeah, you get the silicone on here. Huh? There. Yo, that look good, yo. <laughs> oh, fuck, right, can For sure. That'd be the idea, so well Yeah. I wonder if that's what's causing my oil pressure issue. Do so. I it could be. Thing. Yeah. Oil pressure is oil pressure, you know. If the pressure drop, yo. And that's a big piece, too. <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> 
Yeah. Right, oil is still getting fast. Clearly. You got a silicone up and down there, right? It's still good though. Don't worry about that. Don't study it too hard in our name. It's still alive that you must have to work. I'm gonna stop studying that boy, this is good boy. Nah. Feel it up. This one decent. Yeah, this one here. I must be from any first, any engine not. Yeah, I can see a little, it looked like dirt though. Yeah. If it was it's metal, like. It looked more. Dirty. Yeah. At least already the most important part is it are working. Yeah. And they're working very good too. Yeah. So I still look cool. It look real iffy. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's working. So now, check off the head. It usually come from the middle. It's slacking all. And the head bolts. Uh, this guy studs now, but get a camera out of there, go. Right? I was, when I first got them, I was like, but these things look like them that tall. I was expecting them to real tall, but tough to one person. But what I realized with these, this area here, a lot wider than the standard Moivet ones. Them roughly around the same, no, the Moivet ones actually taller than these, but it wider. The space here is a lot wider. So that would help with compression as well. I was even asking the guy, like, what would be the difference and that kind of stuff. So he was telling me basically, there's a lot of different things that would make up like compression and that kind of stuff. So he, one of the things was how wide here is, like how wide or how narrow it is, and a whole set of different things, man. Pistons and what are things name again now? That's taking out the block. <laughs> right, 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 right. He has studs. Right, 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 right. 
so I was honestly expecting your business a lot a lot dirtier than these but that's so good They're about four years and a lot of launch control <laughs> Then recently a lot of flat shift. With a lot of pops and bangs. So still look pretty good. You know, is the what the name? The bearings. I think this will be the end of the video here. So until next time.